Hi, I'm Mary Mailer, and I'm a Program Manager for Distance Learning in the College of Engineering here at Texas Tech University. In my role here as Program Manager, part of my responsibilities are to demonstrate all of this classroom technology for instructors who are new to campus or perhaps if they haven't seen some of our new equipment in the room, they might like to have a demonstration of the technology. I also help student assistants and guest speakers come into the room and set up technology so if you ever needed those kinds of services you can ask for me in the distance learning program and I will give you my contact information at the end of this video. Now what I would like to do tonight is demonstrate for you a few different pieces of technology that we have in this room. The first piece of technology I'm going to show you is this Wacom tablet here. It's like a regular uh, laptop tablet that you could write on. You know, it's touch sensitive. There's a pen here always stuck right to the side. This is the, like the stylus for the Wacom. It's just called the Wacom pen. It's proprietary, so it will only work with this piece of equipment. So it is touch sensitive, and uh, as you can see, everything that is on this screen right now is being projected onto this screen here. And the whole point of this is that it offers a viewer advantage for uh, students who are sitting in the back of the room and for distance start, uh, students both. So what I want to do here is I just want to log in and I want to show you uh, what it's you know capable of as far as projecting different programs here, how our professors typically use this equipment. Um, so it works just like a regular, in fact it's hooked up to a regular computer so it's nothing really more than that but um, you can uh, you know, access your folders from here, just like OneDrive, like you normally would, any kind of desktop computer. You can see as I'm logged in here, um, all of, you know, this is just very familiar. This is like a file, your file system like you would have on your, on your regular PC and your computer in your office. Sometimes these windows will pop up, just close them. So here you can see you can get to your OneDrive. You may need to log into your OneDrive. Um, and another thing you can do is you could bring your lecture materials on a, a jump stick. There are docks right here for a thumb drive to go in and you could load the, there's two here and there's two on this side, okay? So just put your, put your lecture materials on a thumb drive and bring them in and you can access it that way or you can, you know, email your lecture materials to yourself and open your email. Or you can go to, you know, save things on one, however you do, OneDrive or uh, Adobe Cloud or whatever it is that you need to use. You can access this as just like a regular computer with a file system. So to turn this on, to get this started, I don't want to leave that part out, you need to come over here to the lectern where we have a control panel here. And um, sometimes the control panel will just have the double T on it and nothing else. If you see the double T, you're going to press really hard in the middle of that double T and then a, a, an array of buttons will light up and there's different choices. To get this input, you'd select the PC, okay? And that will set up this system. Now let me um, demonstrate for you how this uh, works in a PowerPoint as far as annotating. And I'm gonna select a blank slide here. And this will already have like a black mark defaulted um, but in PowerPoint, like if you were writing on a presentation, it will open the draw, uh, draw tab. And this lets you choose, you know, if you wanted a thicker pen or say you wanted to open up an article like a PDF and you wanted to highlight certain sections of it, you can do that as well. And, you know, you can change the size of your, of the thickness. So that's, you know, that's how that works. And if you, you know, had a Microsoft Word document, or if you like to work in Teams and you have a whiteboard, you, you have that power to annotate right on that program through this, uh, through this monitor. Okay, so let's close out of here, and I'll show you the next piece of equipment. Before I do that, I just want to show you, I want to demonstrate for you how to get help in here. If you ever run into a technology problem, 
say you come in and you can't get this machine to turn on or nothing in these buttons are working or the projector won't come down, you'll see that uh, on our desktop on the computer and right here on the screen is our helpline number. You can call this and with, it'll ring just two or three times and either I'll pick it up or one of the student assistants will pick it up. We're monitoring these rooms all the time. If there's a teacher in here, we're monitoring, we're watching the whole thing. So if we see you having a problem with technology, one of us will come help you. And if we don't notice it right away and you have a problem, you can call that number. It's 806-742-6335 and we'll come help you. If you can't get anything to turn on in here, that number is taped for you right here on the lectern. So it's, there's a physical copy of it there and that's not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this aside so it's not in our way. And I want to demonstrate this time for you the document camera. Now, <clears throat> the document camera is uh, mounted up here on the ceiling and it shines down here on this uh, sense of sensor down here on this whiteboard. This is the horizontal whiteboard is what we refer to. Okay, and I think I have it on a preset for one. Let me just check that. When you turn on the dot cam, when you select the dot cam button, um, there are different presets. Okay, this would be per preset one. Now, this is obviously up very close and it only covers, the lamp for the dot cam is only covering a very small area. But this would be good for um, you know, a journal article that you wanted to review or highlight or annotate on for your students. It's about the size of a, you know, a sheet of paper. If you want something uh, <clears throat> a little bigger in area to cover, this is preset two. It could, you know, it's about the size of a legal document, uh, maybe a little bigger than that, okay? And then um, there's preset three, which is about the, the whole size of the, uh, of the whiteboard, just about. And you can move this just to get a little bit more area coverage. So you could bring in something the size of a blueprint or a newspaper or however you like. Now, besides um, two-dimensional, this is also, you know, a great um, asset for modeling, you know, something in three dimensions for your students. Supposing you had a, some kind of circuit or a motherboard or something or a, <laughs> a, you know, I don't know, some kind of small model here, you could, um, there you go. You could demonstrate that to your students. So it's, it's great for three, I can't coordinate where, there we go. It's great for three-dimensional modeling as well. So that's a real advantage because you wouldn't, you know, there's no other way sort of to bring in a 3D model and show it enlarged and project it on a screen uh, without the dot cam. All right, so the dot cam is great. You just come over here and select dot cam. Now I want to show you one more surface that we have for writing on here. This is our vertical whiteboard behind us called the Hudley camera. Now this does not cover as much space um, and the thing with this is that you don't get uh, you know you don't get to see your students but there are many you know you're not looking at your students so you lose that visual face-to-face -face, which is nice to have when you're teaching. Um, you don't have that with your students but there are, are professors who want to have two surfaces going here at the same time so they'll have all kinds of equations on this and then they'll want to expound on an equation and so they'll write up here too. And while the student, a distant student, can't see both of these views, they can um, fast forward and rewind and then see both views that way. Now your distant students can, uh, how they view this area of the room is they can elect to view the uh, screen only and they'll minimize this lectern view. And this is good if, say, you know, the professor is, is working on the doc cam here. They don't need to see what's going on with the lectern. They really just want to see what's up here. They can elect to see just this view. If they want to see the professor lecturing up here, suppose they had a paper or they're reading something, um, journal article or something out loud to students, um, then they can minimize the view over there and they can maximize this view. So. The nice thing about all of this equipment is that the professor is having that face-to-face -face contact with the students. So you can be writing here and say, oh, okay, Johnny, you have a question? Or, um, you know, you might notice that your students are not attending to the lecture. They're, you know, or maybe they're absent or 
they have a question and you can see that on their faces that they're not understanding the lecture. Um, so this is an advantage of that face-to-face -face contact. Just keep in mind when you're back here, you don't really have the benefit of that. But again, um, some professors do still like the traditional vertical whiteboard. Okay, so that's most of the equipment that I wanted to review today. Um, when you are done using the equipment, we ask that you um, try to remember to shut it off. The first thing you want to be sure and shut off is the dot cam. So go to that dot cam button and uh, select backlight off. There's a switch for backlight on, backlight off, switch off. That turns off the lamp in the dot cam. And then you could switch to PC, might make things a little bit easier here. And then you will just log out of the, um, the PC system like you would any other you know, computer like in your office or you know, at the library or whatever, just sign out. We'll close everything out and then once you've logged everything off, you can come back here to the lectern in the control panel and there's a, a button down the corner of the control panel that says system off. Just select that and then a, another screen will come up that says power down and you select that power down button and that will uh, shut off the system, all of the system in its entirety. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you wanted to set up a uh, in-person demonstration with me, you can email me at mary, M-A-R-Y, mailer, so it's mary.mailer, M-A-I-L-L-E-R, at Texas Tech University, so ttu.edu. So again, that's mary.mailer at ttu.edu. Thanks, and have a good evening.